hallo, meine Blutsauger da draußen, herzlich willkommen zurück zu Vampire. Wir sind hier wieder unterwegs im Krankenhaus, um der einen mitzuteilen, dass wir das geklärt haben. Good evening, Miss Harcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Um. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Harcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature. But they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me. But they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Okay. Haben wir auch erledigt. P -p 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 um. Die fehlende Information. Du nach T-Rose Tricklands Bestellung. Blutarmut einmal herstellen. So. So, jetzt suchen wir mal die Bestellung. Die Bestellung von Theodore Strickland. Hier hinten haben wir aufgeräumt. Hier dürfte nichts mehr sein eigentlich. Ach ja, komm. Ja, ist okay. Oh, Alter. Nein. Ah, Ladebildschirm. Oh, yes. Oh, Alter, nicht so. Alter, Alter. Machen wir es halt so erstmal. Geht mal her. Danke. Alter. Ja, übertreiben müssen wir es aber nicht. Oh, Ausdauer. Aua. Danke. Wir haben genug mit dir gefeitet. Okay. Da ist ja noch einer. Ei, ei, ei. Ei, 
Scheiße. Als ob die mir gerade so hart Schaden machen. sein. Die gehen mir auf den Keks. Och ja. Ernsthaft. Nein. Ah, ich keine Ratte mehr. Was ist denn das? Moment kurz. Diese kurze Unterbrechung. Wir sind wieder da. Aber Katzen haben Blödsinn gemacht. Äh, hier ist nichts. Hier oben. Neue Unterschrift. I cannot enter. Ja, kann ich aufschließen, lol. Ey, warum ist denn das hier so geladen voll mit den Typen? Kann das sein, ey? <lacht> Über wo ich hingucke, laufen die rum, ey. Das belastend. Ja, jetzt ist das hier auch noch voll mit denen. Oh. Shit. Au, oh, oh nee. Sachen, die ich looten kann, ja. Schaut in die Fleischerei, komme ich nicht rein. Schade. 
So. Ist halt jetzt die Frage. Die Bestellung ist. Hey Griffin! Du hast die Bestellung wahrscheinlich, ja? Mein Freund. Jetzt mal Ausdauer regenerieren jetzt hier. Das ist wichtig. So, jetzt komm her. Hau ich dich. Licht aus. Bestellung von Dr. Schwanz zu Claim Pembroke Hospital. Liste der Zutaten, Substanzen. Nimm die Sönische Opium, Natriumhypikat, Kalium per Magnat. Opium is one of the main ingredients of Strickland's medication. Never a good move. Opium. Schon wieder. ladet. So. I'm quite busy right now, Doc. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Das ist er nicht. Wo ist denn das Trickland? Da. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. <coughs> And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? I located the shop, but it was vandalized. And the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium, sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. This dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. 
without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? A fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father, ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Aykroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones and flesh. I want to know about these secret tests you run. And if they can save people from this epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, <clears throat> Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. You have my support, Dr. Strickland. I know exactly what it feels like to battle an unknown disease with only your mind and force of will to help you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You don't know what that means to me. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Perhaps... An adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. <coughs> Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick, unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, doctor. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. I was in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I will not let you 
you down, my boy. Okay. Ah ja, doch ein bisschen gelogen, der Brü. Was? Du sollt die Filme gerne wenig ein, bringe einen Inhalt Natrium zu deinem medizinischen Arbeitstisch, bringe einen Kaliumpermanganat zu deinem Arbeitstisch, bringe sechs Einheiten Eisendraht zu deinem medizinischen Arbeitstisch. mir irgendwelche Materialien. Nelken, Wasser, Kalium, Kodein, Eisendraht, Nelko, wie heißt das Ding? Natriumplochid und Kaliumpermagnat. Ähm... Ja, wir haben die Nektar Hammer. Aber das... Das Natrium fehlt. Okay, das Natrium fehlt. Ähm... Mal das erstmal noch. Ich hoffe, ich muss da jetzt rein. <lacht> Nicht, dass ich jetzt falsch abgebogen bin oder falsch rein bin. Muss ich hier raus? Ne, ich bin hier sogar richtig. Aua, Alter. Was das? Jetzt 
It's locked, all right. So. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Okay, gut. Aber das machen wir dann im nächsten Part. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Part.